Good morning. Gosh, I am starting to look like an old hippie. I need a haircut badly. Do any of you feel the same? <laughs> Do you cut your own hair? I've been chopping away at my bangs, but I definitely need to get in somewhere soon so I don't scare you. Um, what I wanted to show you today, I talked about, um, we travel a lot, we've lived a lot of places. We lived in Alaska for three years and Greg pastored a church there and we got really involved in ministry to native people. We would fly into this one native village across Cook Inlet at the Baskin people and um, just develop great friendships. And when we left Alaska um, to do some mission work, they, the elders of this tribe flew over to our church and they made us honorary tribe members, which is really cool. That just doesn't usually happen between the Alaska natives and white people. But one of the things they gave us, this is um, a woolly mammoth tusk part of it. There's a lot of them up there, um, especially around the Yukon. And this is a picture of Jesus blessing native children. And so this was a gift given to us, and, and it's one of the most precious things I have. So, yeah, even like how to make Jesus look kind of native there. So, anyway, let's get going with our devotional for June 13th. And the verse is, My peace I give unto you, John 14, 27. Two painters were once asked to paint a picture illustrating his own idea of rest. The first chose for his scene to be a quiet, lonely lake nestled among mountains far away. The second, using swift, broad strokes on his canvas, painted a thundering waterfall. Beneath the falls grew a fragile birch tree bending over the foam. On its branches, nearly wet with the spray from the falls, sat a robin in her nest. The first painting was simply a picture of stagnation and inactivity. The second, however, pictured rest. Outwardly, Christ endured one of the most troubled lives ever lived. Storms and turmoil, turmoil and storms, wave after wave broke over him until his worn body was laid in the tomb. Yet his inner life was as smooth as a sea of glass and a great calm was always there. Anyone could have gone to him at any time and found rest. Even as the human bloodhounds were dogging him in the streets of Jerusalem, he turned to his disciples, offering them a final legacy, my peace. Rest is not some holy feeling that comes upon us at church. It is a state of calm rising from a heart deeply and firmly established in God. My peace I give in times of deepest grief imparting calm and trust and my relief. My peace I give when prayer seems lost, unheard. Know that my promises are ever in my word. My peace I give when you are left alone. The nightingale at night has the sweetest tone. My peace I give in times of utter loss. The way of glory leads right to the cross. My peace I give when enemies will blame. Your fellowship is sweet through cruel shame. My peace I give in agony and sweat, for my own brow with bloody drops was wet. My peace I give when nearest friends betray, peace that is merged in love and for them praise. My peace I give when there is death for thee, the gateway to the cross to get to me. So friends, are you experiencing that peace right now, that rest? Um, in the middle of a storm, um, are we like that robin nestled down in her nest knowing that she's secure? Um, I love the verse that says, I will keep in perfect peace the one whose mind is fixed on me. And I've just made that a practice during these crazy times is, you know, I can't listen to too much of the news or read too much, um, but I'm in the word so much more. I'm in worship. I'm in prayer. And I have found that his peace and rest do not fail to meet me there. So I just encourage you to encourage your hearts in the Lord. Turn on your your uh, worship music. Um, put on a CD of hymns, whatever. Um, read the word. Uh, 
get a devotional that you can read too. Um, you can read Streams in the Desert along with me. I, there's different versions. So I just invite you to press into him and open yourself up to his rest and peace. So let's pray. Jesus, the one who has peace that passes all understanding, we just pray for that to envelop us now. Um, give us peace for this day. Teach us how to rest in you and cease from our own striving. Lord, let us fix our minds in you through worship, through the word, through praise, through um, prayer and thanksgiving. And we just ask that you would just hold us close and um, that our peace would radiate to others, Lord, as we receive it from you. So we thank you, um, Lord of all. Um, we acknowledge your goodness and your grace. Um, and we just say that we love you. In your name we pray. Amen. Will you all have a most excellent day.